I got the flu and it hurts to speak, so the energy is going to be low, but the reaction continues. Let's begin. This is after round one of the selection exams, right? Those guys. What did they fight? They did a different test, right? But did they fight a completely different thing? I thought we were fighting like the other juniors, like our own like um upper rankers, right? No, that was the same group that we just did. Yeah. She was the one that drew, I think. That's right. We have two more bouts of this. This motherfucker. This, how are you going to act tough? Look at your face right now. You got dusted last episode, dude. You were so fucking useless. You were a fucking donkey. You're going to talk shit like that, my man. <laughs> You. That girl. Because we haven't really seen how they fight, right? Because she's the Blue Rangers, like, um, right hand girl. So, like, and she's so tiny. But these suits are fucking cracked. So, she must be insane. I mean, she was literally taking the food from Blue Keeper. So, I'm going to assume that she's got to be not just cheeky, but strong. <laughs> The name is Ranmaru. This guy looks like that kid from uh, Boku no Hero Academia. Damn, bro. The basically right hand men, right? The so Suzukiri is here for yellow, and this is obviously pink. The blue is in the middle, though? God damn, bro. Blue in the middle? She's so tiny, though. She looks like she's the most imposing. Oh! Yandere, where you go? She escaped. She escaped. Good job. Give me a compliment, bro. Huh? What do you want to say? What are you doing, girl? She's saying Morse codes up? This is so ridiculous how we actually have this girl that just lives in her fucking closet, bro. We just shove her back in there and hope nothing goes wrong. Like, this this part of the story just kind of so insane. The zigzag road to the final exam. Uh oh, he's kind of catching on. Go with the safe script. <laughs> the clown wants to fight more. Team. Why are Okay. There's only one key. So even though we're doing combat, only one person can pass? Is that the idea? Uh... <笑>あ。<笑><笑> Nah, 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 she's gonna be fine, she's gonna be fine, but how? What? Why would he? Let's go! So we have more people on the ranger side that could work with us? Okay, thank you, I guess. What is this? This is the pipe that she was like clanging onto before, right? In the intro scene. What, what is that light? What's coming? He's super interested in the godlike being. Kind of 
you watched his brother die from a duster boss. There he is again. It's the same design in his eyes, right? It's just like bright, you know, teeth, the eyes, and some kind of black head. What's going on here with these dudes? Yeah, you know what? I can kind of understand his motivations and why he's such a fucking angsty motherfucker. I thought the Dragon's Keepers like kill the bosses. Well, I don't even. I, I thought that maybe like the. They would kill the Duster bosses and create the, the artifacts, right? The relic, the sacred relic. But the sacred relics are probably needed to kill the bosses, so that's probably not right. But also, the Duster bosses, I think we saw one, right? In one of those episodes in the post credit scene in like a back alley. I don't think that was a flashback. I think that was one of the Duster bosses. Holy shit, look at the amount of CDs he was studying. Four years ago? Yeah. 13 years ago is when all the bosses were here, but now there's like a timeline difference. So that implies that the after the faithful encounter in 13 years ago where the bosses should have died, a couple of them are still alive. The Keepers won back then, 13 years ago. Unless the Keeper struck a deal. Maybe the key because like did anyone actually witness the bosses fights? I my schizo theory was like the bosses are secretly like transformed into humans and are, are the keepers, but no. Nah. But like it sounds like 13 years ago, the all of them should have died, right? But this four years ago backstory is now telling us that the duster bosses are still alive. <laughs> So there's no evidence. You're saying like you, your brother died from a boss, but there's no evidence that a boss bounced throughout the scene. But he saw it. Feather again. What's going on, bro? What does she call upon? Is a boss monster about to fall down and help XX get out of here? Is that what she's summoning? Is, is she in contact with the boss monster? Is this guy gonna fucking die after trying to help out? <laughs> That light, I would scream right now if I could, but my throat is fucked up, so I'm whispering. That light is what happened last time when the fucking boss is attacking the cult flashback, right? The boss is here right now. Yo! <laughs> Duster boss. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. She was like knocking on the pipe. It's crazy how XX's voice is so different talking to Lord Petrola right now. She sounds so much subservient. Anyone else, she's so aggressive. Right now, she's completely uwu mode. Damn. They're pretty much gods. Uh, okay, but here you go around just killing people. I wish for a peaceful world where we do not have to resort to violent means, says the dude that just killed the guy immediately. Just like sucker shot him. Oh. Would D be in danger because he is in a transformed state right now? But if Lord Petrola saw D in duster form, he would be fine with that, right? And this guy, the boss right now, must be the person that killed the brother. <laughs> they, they put his body in the closet, and do you think that X is in there? It's just a body. <laughs> He's not even gonna bother checking. He doesn't even know. He thought that X is just thought that the joke was bad, bro. <laughs> Hmm? Minato, why are you so fucked up, Minato? Hello.
How old is she? How old is she? College. College age. These are all college aged women. They won? Blue got her key stolen? <laughs> They must have sacrificed Minato. When I was young. What is she, a fucking 9,000 year old lolly? The true nature of the test? Yeah, Minato got fucked up for that. That's like a little slip up, right? It's like referring to yourself, but instead of saying Ore, you should say Boku in a Sakurama form. Shion? No. I mean, it's kind of true. He is different. That's kind of flag right there, right? I think he could relate to the backstory. I don't know. Something about that right here. As if, if I could fall for that, I think he's going to have a soft spot for Shio, man. That's a flag. Eh? <laughs> No. Fakey. What? No way, no way, no way. We got yoinked. What the fuck? I thought we were team. He started to work with the other group. What the fuck? We just got yoinked, bro. They left us behind. Therefore, it's smarter to team up with other people in different squads because, you know, it's they can't get the same keys and working together will actually benefit them. But working with the same color squad is actually best. They, they You know, he went off with them. These motherfuckers, bro. Uh, I hope the duster boss kills them all. Why, you think these dudes are gonna be the next fucking generation? I mean, they, they did do, the, they do this, right? So, okay. Of course pink is fucking pink. Blue was right. She was absolutely correct hinting, bro. Oh. Can we just take the key back against them by physically with using force? What can we do here? What can we do about this? Yeah, I'm down. Yes, 5v5. Team versus team. That's the natural question. That's gotcha. And I bet this was the intended goal from the exam from the beginning. Minata, Minata. <laughs> he was actually pissed. Oh, this motherfucker. Just punch him. Secrets out to Minato. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess he's too shocked to ever, you know, rat on us, but okay, that was a pretty ballsy play to, I, you know, reveal our identity to this guy. Mm. She knows where D, right? <laughs> we are a bad guy. Minato! Barrier or what? So she has a natural barrier, huh? Her powers is just barrier? 
What's she saying? She's saying something there. Surely we got cooked up something else, right? See fro from her. She's just so uncoordinated. <laughs> the no, no, no. It's the other guy. Oh my God! What is this special service? This gotta be some kind of fandom like ASMR, like degrading, like humiliation kick. I wonder why she didn't use the barrier there. And the interesting thing about Suzukiri is like, I never knew if she was a duster or not. And like the fact that she just took a hit here physically means that she's not a duster, right? Because like the barrier attack is kind of like, yeah, if you have a barrier, then you can't get hit by physical attacks. So it's kind of hard to tell. Like, for example, when we got punched there, the dust animation happened, right? I was hoping something like dust would happen here, but it's a physical contact. I don't see anything. So... She's probably not a duster, right? What? We pass? Why? <laughs> Suzukiri is just so mysterious. We kind of like, I don't know, was, 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 that, was that a fucking leak here? I mean, we accidentally said world domination from the hero side, but we mean from, you know, the villain side, right? And then look at Suzukiri's reaction here. Uh -huh. Her eyes go down and she's like, mm, Suzukiri wants us to succeed. Why? How does it help her if we succeed? Is she a duster? <laughs> Suzukiri, man. This girl is peak. From the beginning, she was so mysterious, but she's been rooting for us from the fucking beginning, right? She has been helping us no matter what. Makes sense. Why is she helping us? Is she also a duster? Does she just hate the fucking keepers because of what they did in the past to her or something? There must be something like that, right? Either she's a duster, and if she's not, a human that has a really bad, sad backstory because of the keepers, and now she wants revenge. Today's episode title... Kibiki wants that D. Thank you. <laughs> I think D just got a personal attack there. That was like an emotional damage when he was like, no one wants to be the monsters. Ka-ching! Oh. The other dude. You really just gonna let her fucking take the key and just walk away? What the fuck? Are you serious? As soon as you know, Suzukiri also says 4 left D, and now we're back to 5, bro. What in the fuck was that? Like, well, how does she just sneak in and just take it from his hand? Whoa. You were more scared to me, man. What does salvation really mean? Kill everybody? Okay, Blue Nose. Is she gonna fight the Duster boss next episode? And that's today's episode, man. Second round of the exams. And the cruel nature of the exam is revealed. It's never really teamwork. It's only one person from each color squad could get a key. So naturally, people are gonna turn on each other. But I wonder if the intentions of the exam was to make the 5v5 kind of happen. So it's looking like a team battle now. Unfortunate that we lost the fucking key at the end. But hey, Suzuki is kind of looking out for us since day one. She is just so mysterious to me, man. Is she a duster? I mean, she got hit by a physical attack and I didn't see dust particles, meaning that she's not a duster, right? And if so, then she must be a human that must have a very sad flashback. And something fucked up must have happened to her from the Keeper's side. Therefore, she wants revenge or some kind of reform within. Now, on the other hand, bro, what is going on here, bro? Lord... What was this guy's name? 
Petitros or something? Like this fucking... Uh, he's one of the bosses. And I think he is the guy that we saw in... Actually, I don't know. Maybe there's like multiple bosses that looks the same. But he's probably responsible for the, you know, Shion's parents' death or brother's death four years ago. Because the assumption is 13 years ago, every boss should have died. But here he is. Pertrula is still alive. Did the Dragon Keeper strike a deal with the bosses? Or maybe one of the bosses survived and got away and this is what we're happening. Regardless, the plot just gets more and more interesting with each episode. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.